I said, if somebody's living here, you'd think I would know who they were. And you have no idea. No, we don't know who they are. I said, well, lady, I live alone. I said, so. She said, well, can we look through the house? I said, be my guest. They went into all the rooms in the house. They looked in the closet. They looked at everything. And they agreed that nobody else lived here. And then they left. Meet James Nord, a 65-year-old Sierra Vista, Arizona paralegal of more than 20 years. His living is helping people who, like himself, can't afford high-priced attorneys. I do divorces, bankruptcies, uh, file answers to suits, civil suits, probate, uh, trust, wills, do all kinds of civil documents. Nord has lived alone in this modest Fry Township home for a decade or more. Alone unless you count his friendly four-leggeds. So imagine Nord's shock and dismay when he received a visit one day from Child Protection Services. So I brought him in and they sat down and said, we have a complaint about you. I said, about me? For what? Well, your significant other that lives with you and her 10-year-old son that you've been sexually molesting a boy. I said, what significant other? Are those the exact words? That the they exact use? words. Say it again. They're significant, your significant other and her 10-year-old son. Go on. And uh, I said, what 10-year-old son? What significant other? Well, we don't know. I you, said, also, you said earlier that they said the 10-year-old son that you've been molesting. Yes. Those are the exact words that they used? Yes. They said, I've been molesting the 10-year-old boy. As, yeah. if they, as if that was a certainty of theirs. Yes, it was. CPS looked around Nord's home and saw that he obviously lived alone. The only person with children he associated with was a client, Betty Madrid. I met Jim Nord through... Um, the man that I came to Arizona to live with, they had been friends for a number of years and Jim and had helped him out on some legal situations and we would socially see each other at mutual friends and so when um, Bob Williams, that's the name of the man I met Jim through, suddenly died and I found myself faced with quite a court battle and a lot of illegal activity being committed against me. I came to Jim and I said, I just, I need to talk to somebody. I need help. And, you know, can you, can you help me out on this? And so he did. Um, no affair. No, no. No affair. No, I just lost the guy that I love who introduced me to Jim. Never even spent the night here. Never. Ever. Never. I don't even know if I've shook his hand. Even after Nord was told the case was closed, son Carl was questioned. Well, they said somebody accused my dad of molesting a 10-year-old boy that was a girl that lived there. And I said, in a, basically in the last year that I know of, the only woman and 10-year-old kid that lived here was my wife and my son. And uh, did they, of course, ask you then if there were any problems? They did. They asked me about my son, um, had he ever been left here alone with my, my dad? And I said, sure, you know, so grandpas are four, just leave the kid with him. And they said, does he make any complaints? And I said, yeah. Grandpa makes him shut the internet off at about nine o'clock at night and go to bed. And he gets really mad about that. Subsequently, CPS poured salt in the wound. With nothing to support the unnamed tipster's accusation, no victims found, no evidence of any kind, they listed him as a suspected molester. Then I called uh, around to some other people to find out who I could work with at the sheriff's department. You must have been pretty shaken up. Well, I was upset, yeah. This is, this is the kind of thing that can ruin everything. You know, you're listed as a molester, more or less, by their own words. Nord petitioned the courts for the identity of the accuser, but was denied. Nord has sued everyone involved, including the state attorney general, CPS, and the Cochise County Sheriff, for $50 million. Ironically, having Madrid as a client could have led to Nord's troubles. I spoke with someone I know in Border Patrol, and I said, told him what had happened, and he said, well, he said, you know, Betty, you're being followed that people are watching everything you do and at the time when I was talking to him I was in California and I said well, what am I going to do and he says if you cannot come back to Arizona don't because everyone who helps you something happens so when Steve helped me they got broke into Jim comes up and he gets accused of being a, a child molester. How easy it is to cast doubts on an otherwise law-abiding citizen's life. Nord has not been charged with a crime. Indeed, no crime apparently took place. This story is not over. 
And for James Nord, this story will never completely go away. It's the nature of the accusation. Someone will always wonder if James Nord is a child molester. The crime is in the process. I believe that people can destroy somebody's reputation just by making an accusation, and they don't have to justify it when they make the accusation. So the system is set up to come out, they do their investigations, they don't, uh, there's no reprisal on the person who made the false accusation. There's no accountability for that. And I told him, I said, if you make, a, if you make an accusation and it's false, it should come back on the person who made it. The case should turn over. Whoever makes that false accusation should in fact be defending themselves. I had a complete criminal background investigation done by DPS in Phoenix and they came back with nothing. And they had my fingerprints, my social security number, my date of birth, my age, uh, my eye color, my hair color, my height, my weight. They had all of that. CPS only had my name. They didn't have my middle initial, they didn't have my social security number, they didn't have my date of birth, they didn't have anything. So how did they come up with all this information? And if you read their report it says no police records, no involvement by any agencies, nothing. So it's just a story. Somebody makes up a story and they take it as gospel. Chuck Alton reporting from outside Sierra Vista, Arizona.